Uh, Sergio Brassai for Canadian Music Week. I'm here with Rico. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Very good. How's, uh, how's Canadian Music Week treating you so far? It's been well. It's been well. I've been to a couple of shows, so I want to go watch some uh, some indie rock stuff, so it was pretty dope. Yes. You, uh, you just finished up a photo shoot. How's the photo shoot? It was great. I never did nothing like that in my life, so it was pretty cool. I got a little makeup done and stuff like that, so it's like a, it's kind of like an intro to what's to come, you know? So yeah. Really yeah. New experience. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, so what are you uh, what are you working on right now, Rico? Uh, right now I'm working on a project, an EP. I'm trying to put on maybe six, seven tracks. Uh, and until then, we're just putting out music until we get it done. So I'm dropping a single once every month. Uh, I just dropped my first single, West Side, and that's doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Just trying to work and get the word out and have everybody know who Rico from the Bees is. Nice. Okay, cool. And since we're uh, since we're doing Canadian Music Week right now, mm -hmm. what uh, what else are you excited for in Canadian Music Week? Uh, I want to go see Big Sean and A Boogie, which are like two of like the artists I listen to a lot right now. So those are two people I really want to go see. This. Yeah. Uh, so that's those two. What are a few more of your inspirations? People you look up to when you're in your music. Uh, in terms of music, yeah, uh, definitely Drake. Uh, not only because he's from the city, but uh, just like the way he just makes up his his, uh, his rhymes and his music and the way they mix and master their stuff. Like it's just it's like on a whole never level that people don't really get to don't really uh, pay attention to. So definitely Drake. Um, yeah, I think right now it's just Drake. Yeah, that's my guy. Anything Drake, I'm listening to. If I went my phone right now, you'll probably see a Drake song on my screen. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so non-music wise, who's some uh, who's some inspirations? Uh, LeBron James. That's like my favorite ball player. I listen to people a lot. But uh, he just his work ethic is crazy. So kind of just when I see stuff like that, it's like I could do that. Just apply it to music, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, people are looking for you online to find this new stuff that comes out once a month, where's the best place for them to go? Uh, they can go to my Instagram, which is Rico from the Bees, so R-E-E-K-O from the B-Z. And it's the same for my SoundCloud, my Twitter, everything is Rico from the Bees, so R-E-E-K-O uh, from the B-Z. Okay, awesome. Can you, uh, can you tell me a songwriting story? Mm, like, a, like a funny one? Sure, yeah, give us a funny one if you got one. Um, so I have the song that I'm going to perform tonight called Phase Me. I wrote it to like a completely different beat and I went into the studio uh, with my producer and we came up with some hot stuff and we just did everything that whole night. But uh, yeah, it was just pretty dope how I, like, I wrote it, like I, I wrote it individually and then he came up with something that just went with it so well and I didn't even like relay that to him, it just happened. So like, for me it was like this song was kind of meant to be because it's like, how did you know, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's pretty dope. Awesome. Okay, and you want to talk about your performance tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a song called Phase Me. Uh, it's probably my favorite song that I have with me right now, like in terms of my whole, uh, what's the word, um, my whole collective of music. It's probably my favorite. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do Phase Me. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really like it. You know, it starts off slow and it kind of builds up, which is what I love with music. So yeah, I'm going to do Phase Me. Hopefully get the crowd involved and everybody's going to have fun. Cool. When you were uh, when you were writing Phase Me, mm -hmm. what was the uh, what was the thought behind that song? Um, a lot a lot of things in life people always tell me I couldn't do. So this hook literally says, you know, shout out to all my haters. I'm sorry that you couldn't phase me. So it's kind of like just thinking back to all the times when people told me I couldn't do what I was gonna do, and I'm finally at a point in my life where I'm actually able to, you know, do what I want to do and do it at a good uh, at a high level. So that was kind of the inspiration behind that, just making and proving everybody wrong. Right. Nice. And now you're out there doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to this performance tonight. Yeah. You guys can find them online. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.